Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Colleen, also known as the Healing Visionary. I come from a healing family of Andromeda Galaxy, and I'm going to be channeling them today. They've become very communicative recently and helping me and any of my followers who find this video to understand the new earth energies and what's really going on here, which is so confusing. Nobody really knows what's going on. Even out there in the galactic, there is a lot of variables and different pathways that can happen. So I'm going to tune into them now and see what they have to say. Hello, yes, we see you, we hear you, we felt your presence and knew that you were coming to receive a message today. And we would like to begin by speaking with, with yourself and all other listeners on those concerns about and around the new earth energies, as many people are referring to it. And we want to let you know that, yes, these are here and all around you in a beautiful glittering way where you can access these energies. And yes, you are intended to access these new frequencies, which are contained inside a grid to make the improvements to your home life, to your earth life, and to be able to excel and exceed in success in ways that you might not have ever yet experienced on this earth in this lifetime before. And so with that, we want to share our excitement and positivity that all things are possible now. So if you have been, let us say, itching or yearning to change things in your life, as this one we're channeling through has also recently done, it is time now. It is time to make that leap. I just want that to soak in for a moment that you heard us correctly. Make that leap. It is time to start doing things differently. And we are so very much excited for all of you to find these new possibilities. And if you want to shift your life and utilize the new frequencies that are surrounding you, then it would be important to do something different. That is why we say, take that leap and take the leap of faith in that the universe does have your back. Life is designed to work and it does work. And so we see so many people making these new shifts and changing their destiny, so to speak, in ways that by doing things that they wouldn't have normally done before. And this my dears, my beloveds, this is a new timeline. By behaving in those ways with one small step after the other, you end up immersing yourself one step at a time in the next best thing to do, the next right action that feels in alignment with you will have you in no time walking a new timeline. And we are so very excited about this because as a collective and as a collective consciousness, that is going to be making the shift. And the more and more and more people that are starting to do this, the faster and easier the new spheres of reality will be able to be lived in. And so we pause as I revert to others here listening for any topics. Uh, yes, we also want to discuss 
the various ways in which you can alchemize your life. We use the word alchemize or alchemy in that it is a blending together of precious metals, but in this way, not metals, but precious arenas of your life where you can fold together, you can mix and blend together the different ways of seeing and, and being so that your persona, the act of being who you are here to be and less doing is the new alchemy for these frequencies in of life in lighter densities where there is no lack there is no lack so you are like a newborn and you will be experiencing life in fresh ways so that that is possible for you to access all the possibilities without any judgment there is no good, bad, right, wrong, or any of those dichotomies and oppositions that you are used to experiencing in the 3D realm. And so this type of alchemy happens because you have no pre-existing subconscious beliefs. Everything is so entirely new that you're joining together your own intentions and desires of what you seek with the unity consciousness in sharing with others and supporting and everyone working harmoniously interacting together to create a world of beauty and fun and all the variety of ways that people can enjoy themselves as you are still in this human skin, in this human body. And so the physicality, the material world is still a part of your existence and your experience and your reality. Although things will be much lighter and lighter and lighter, including the need for less food on some of the realms. And also your bodies will be lighter for those that are in the higher uh, rings or spheres of reality. We aren't sure exactly what it looks like, but we have experienced it um, in other planets in other galaxy systems where we have, we ha do have other beings of physical material bodies like ourselves we are also physical beings here in andromeda galaxy and we uh, live on platforms our air is a purple lavender you might call it and we don't necessarily have homes individual homes we work together in pods or groups or what you might call families and so that is why we appear as uh, a family to this one who is channeling and her Andromedan family, where in fact it is her parallel lifetime from now and from the past. But there is no past. So we know that's very confusing for people. And we also can tell you about where we live in that our model of society, again, it's very inclusive. We work together in small groups and groups with other groups to accomplish physical things. Um, we don't eat that much. We use energy to fuel our bodies and our abilities to think and and breathe and move um, we do uh, have a particular kind of plants that are nutrients for us as well and there is a kind of um, 
um, pheromones that are released from the plants, like a dust, like what your pineal will release when you wiggle it. These kinds of um, feeling good hormones or pheromones that are also like food for us. And this keeps everyone in a positive state of mind. We really don't understand and don't have any negative or um, darkness here uh, in our solar system. And there are many different locations. We are a solar system. And so each one is a little bit different, although we do work together harmoniously. Um, the weather is uh, very, very, I guess you would say mild and, and dry, and therefore we don't need to have homes as shelters as secure as you do. So that's why we have different platforms with um, communal areas and places where we can go to rest or to do things in smaller groups or just by ourselves. And we also have a out, lot of outdoor park areas. And that is where we met the first time with the, the soul group, which was a very exciting encounter. What else can we say about this time right now? We can inform you that yes, things are going to be getting rocky and really shaken up all around the entire earth. And some of you might be wondering and searching for where is the best place to live on the earth and not be taken in by the implosion that's happening in the 3D reality. It is dying out and there will be years of complete destruction as that system, that old matrix is crumbling down and falling apart. And so we say to you, there is no one place better than another to be. It is your state of consciousness. So you might see outside externally what's going on, but none of that will touch your inner reality. If you remain mindful, if you stay centered in who you are and minding your consciousness, minding your thoughts and uh, resonating, you'll find yourself currently and from now forward, resonating more and more with people on the same tune or channel, so to speak. And anyone you're not in resonance with will, you'll forget about, or they'll forget about you, or things will just drift apart. And so you needn't really worry at all or pay much attention to it. In fact, try not to pay attention to the uh, 3D matrix world as it is just going to be negative, negative and dragging you down and let it because this is the way of the cycle that is ending. And with the ending of each cycle, it is a period, it is a time of a decay and death in order for the rebirth. And so many of you are in that in between cusp on the cusp of moving in to the new. And we say that this is entirely possible when you keep your consciousness at that level where you prefer to be. And with that, my dear ones, my beloveds, our beloveds, I leave you with these messages and, and sending 
blessings to all of your lives. Know that we are your neighbors and we deeply care about your success and we share so much excitement around the galactic universe, watching with anticipation and cheering for all of humanity at this time. We love you, dear ones. Hmm. Ah, oh, trying to remember what they said, but I felt like it was in three different segments. Well, I hope that gave you some clarity and positive guidance for today. May this be a blessing in your life. I do have some new programs coming up. One is going to be on manifestation from the female way. So please stay tuned for lots of upcoming classes and opportunities to work with me further. And as always, I do one-on-one -on -one shamanic healing treatments to help everyone lighten their emotional life, their emotional body, getting rid of old wounds, past stories, energies and entities that don't belong to you. That seems to be really key right now for a lot of people, especially if you haven't done a lot of inner work. And the way that I do it with the shaman, ancient shamanic practices in the lineage of the Andean shamans from Peru and Bolivia, which have some of the most powerful um, healing the dark side and extraction tools out there, as well as a beautiful techniques in destiny retrieval, soul retrieval, and all kinds of um, combining your masculine and feminine so that you're living a more balanced life. And all of these are needed for manifestation. So if you are inclined to work with me, I am available. I have calendar bookings on my link in the description below.